Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Brickmaster Nate, and in celebration of 100 subscribers, I have an unboxing video of the LEGO Star Wars 20th Anniversary Slave 1. So this set was released in 2019 and has 1,007 pieces. The front of the box shows the starship and the special minifigure. Okay, let's cut into the box. Here we have bag eight, bag four, bag six, bag one, Bag five, bag three, bag two, bag seven, and a packet of instructions and stickers. Okay, let's get to the speed build. So first, let's take a look at the minifigures. Here we have Boba Fett. He has a really, really detailed head, and I really like this piece. And you can also move down his rangefinder. He also comes with a jetpack and this other cloth piece that goes over his shoulder. There's also a ton of printing on his body and legs. I like how his gun is different from the standard blaster and it's actually made up of two pieces. Now let's take a look at Han Solo. His hair piece is my favorite part of the whole minifigure because it looks a lot better than the other hair pieces that have been used for him in the past. He has an alternate face, which is more of a happy look, but his regular one is more of a mad look. He comes with the shorter blaster, and I think it's really accurate to what he has in the movies. and his body is dark blue and his legs are in brown. Now let's take a look at Forlom. I really, really like his head mold. I think it looks really, really detailed and his body looks really cool as well. It reminds me of C-3PO's body, but it's a lot dirtier and darker. He comes with the longer blaster piece and I think it looks really good with him. This minifigure is called Zuckus. His headpiece is also super detailed and I like it a lot. There's some silver printing on his head and the underside is different from a typical minifigure head and it has these little pieces on the inside that help it stay on to this piece right here. He uses this piece instead of regular minifigure legs and the printing on his body continues onto this piece right here. Now let's take a look at the special Princess Leia minifigure. 
it's a really simple minifigure, but I think it's okay because it's supposed to look like the old version from 20 years ago. She comes with this megaphone blaster like they did before, a long time ago. On her back, she has this 20 anniversary logo and it's really shiny. And there's this two x four plate that's included. So if you wanted to connect the stand to another minifigure stand, like this one, you can just connect it like that. Now let's take a look at the actual ship. I think this is a really amazing set. I like the size of it because it's not too big or it gets annoying, but it's also not too small. And there's a lot of features and cool pieces that are included in this set. On the back, there are a lot of really cool techniques used to get all of these angles. These sections right here are angled. And I really like how this part is slightly angled up. There are these lasers on the side and they use this new one by two round plate right there. And I really like the use of this sand green tooth piece. I wish they moved together, but they move individually. And it would have been easier if they were attached with an axle in the middle instead of just using these pins. On the top, there are a lot of slope pieces, as you can see, and there's a sticker right there. There are also some spring-loaded missiles, and they're activated when you flick these levers on the back. On the bottom, there are a lot of these sloped bricks, and I think it looks really, really nice. There are some more stickers on the front right here, and there are a lot of these really big angled bricks. For the carbonite piece, you can take Han Solo, and you can attach him using these bars right there, and they connect to his hands. Like that. And you lift this piece up right here. And you can take this piece and put it right there. It fits in there pretty well and it doesn't move around too much. And I like how even if you turn the ship like this, it won't fall out. I like how they used these really big green bricks and there's some dark orange slopes and jumper plates right here and for these pieces there's some stickers on it right there and i really like the technique that they used to get this piece right there and when you turn the ship vertically like this these pieces are supposed to turn with it as well, but that feature doesn't work very well, so you can just manually turn it. For the cockpit, there's this giant translucent piece, and you can just take it off like that. There are a lot of stickers and control panels on the inside, and there's a lot of room for the minifigure. You can put Boba Fett on the seat right there and he fits pretty well 
I just have to make sure that his rangefinder doesn't get in the way. I like how the seat moves with the ship. So when you turn it vertically, so does he. And I'm glad that that feature works, even though these ones don't. On the bottom or the back, depending on how you look at it. I think it looks pretty detailed. I like the use of these curved Technic tubes. And I like these translucent blue pieces. This section here is pretty inaccurate to the actual ship from the movies because it's supposed to go all the way through. But that's understandable because there's actually a handle here. And I think that it's okay just because there's another feature that gets in the way. The handle is really sturdy and it won't easily break or snap off or anything when you're holding the ship vertically. And it's pretty comfortable to hold. There's nothing really that gets in the way of anything. And my hand fits on it pretty well. One thing that I did notice about the set is that if you look at the cockpit from here, you can see that there's a hole that goes right down the middle. And I just thought that there could have been a better way to cover that up instead of just leaving a hole like that. There are also some clips right here, and I'm pretty sure that's so you can clip the guns. So you can put Boba Fett's right there, and you can also attach Han Solo's. Here's a view of the inside of the ship. I really like how there was a lot of Technic pieces on the inside, and the build was a good mix of Technic and regular brick building. The mechanism for the missile launchers was really complex. The lever down here, is attached to a Technic rod on the inside and it goes all the way to this section right here. So when you push down on the lever, it pushes this wheel piece down right there. And that's what launches the missile. As you can see, the seat also moves up and down right there. And it does that by having this axle right there and it's really loose. So it's really easy for it to just move up and down like that. That's going to be it for today's video. I really enjoyed this set and I hope you enjoyed it too. If you did, please like, subscribe and hit the bell icon. Also, leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, bye.